Is your study club or association membership dwindling? You're not alone. I have, I have people come to me every day saying we're having a really hard time finding new members as well as retaining the members that have been involved in our study clubs and our associations for years. Hi, I'm Lisa Copeland with Communicate with Influence and today we're going to be talking about what happened to your referrals and how do you increase your membership so that you continue, continue to get referrals from that membership. So the, the dynamic of dentistry is changing and doing things the same way we've always done is not going to serve us well in trying to increase our membership. So let's take a look at some of the challenges that we have occurring that are changing the dynamics of our membership makeup as well as our practice and our patient referral pool. Number one, we have an aging population. The traditionalists and the baby boomers are aging. And as we age problems escalate, baby boomers as they retire are losing their insurance and they become much more frugal about the processes and procedures that they elect to have invest into their health and their oral health. The um, other thing that's happening with that aging population is the baby boomers are typically the leaders of our associations and study clubs right now. As they retire out of our practices, they're also pulling back on the responsibilities that they have involved in the membership. The second thing we need to look at is our areas of diversity in our country. So the U.S. population, the largest growing population in the U.S. right now, according to a study done by the Hispanic Dental Association, is the Hispanic population. 45% lack dental insurance and they're relying on community clinics for health and dental care needs. And so consider the value of, if you live in an area where you have a high Hispanic population, consider the value of investing in an employee who speaks Spanish or um, publishing some of your materials in Spanish. Now it's very, very um, regional and you may not have a Hispanic population in your area. The second population that's growing is the Asian American and they represent over 6% of the US population right now. They're concentrated in basically three areas, uh, two in California, Los Angeles and San Francisco, and then one on the East Coast in New York. So if you live in those areas, focus on marketing to the um, Asian population to increase your study club membership. The third thing we wanna look at is as Gen Zs are entering the workforce, right? Gen Zs are the uh, graduates of dental schools right now and the graduates of dental hygiene schools and dental assisting schools. They're also the patients that are coming into our practice independently now. They're not on their parents' plan anymore. And the younger generation is changing gen dentistry dramatically. But what's happening within dentist dental practices is the Gen Z are opting out of going into a solo practice and they're going into group practices, um, dental service organizations, and they are working in a much larger scale practice than investing in a solo practice. And so that's going to change uh, the way that you get referrals because typically a large organization will offer uh, continuing education credits and they will also offer a study club like environment within their organization. And so that changes the dynamics of, of finding new younger members as well. There's also more women entering into dentistry and some of the schools now are having 50% of their graduating class or more that are women and women are not practicing traditional dentistry. They're um, working part time, they're changing their hours, they're working, working in a more flexible schedule so they can also be parents and take care of the household. And so what we need to think of maybe is altering our study club calendar and our study club uh, schedule. And so maybe have a breakfast meeting or a lunch meeting, right? To accommodate people that can't attend. Maybe they have families to attend to at the end of the day. Uh, the other thing you can think about is implementing childcare at your meetings. Uh, I live in Utah and this is a huge factor in all aspects of life, right? Children come to events and there's always people to take care of them. They do a wonderful job of doing that. And it's a big mind, sh mind shift, I know. And so the um, some of the things that we can do to attract more members to our study club is really pivot, 
Look at your calendar and think about how you can structure things differently so that you're attracting each generation at different meetings. Stay tuned for more information. Um, I'll be talking about a calendar on an upcoming video and how to structure your association or study club calendar so that you really do appeal to more of the generations. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.